Hey, what's up? I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to use G-Sync and V-Sync together. Okay, so I will share a short story about why I was so concerned to get to know how to use these two settings. So what happened a um, few months ago, I purchased my first G-Sync compatible monitor and I mean, yeah, super late in the game, but it's all about budget gaming. So I was playing some game on my new monitor and then uh, I came around VSync setting there and I was confused whether to set, set it on or off or is there a certain way to use it properly with G-Sync because now I have G-Sync monitor and my monitor is uh, always adapting to games FPS all the time so uh, I was confused whether to use V-Sync or is there a specific way or certain way to use it properly with G-Sync so with that question in mind I was already digging some uh, reddit post about the topic and there i found blurbusters page um this optimal g-sync settings <clears throat> so let's get to this so it says to set up g-sync enable g-sync first in the nvidia control panel so how do we do that in set up g-sync tab enables G-Sync enable for full screen mode and this one enable setting for the selected display. This is the setting that actually enables the G-Sync for your monitor and you can check it by using the OSD, but, uh, OSD button on your monitor. I would have shown you here but the OSD settings are not recorded in the on-screen recorder in OBS. So you can check it there so these these uh, three settings in the g-sync tab okay we're done with this and turn on v-sync in manage 3d settings here i never um, mess with my global settings i always use the program settings and and I use the settings every time for each game I play. For example, let's say Spider-Man Remastered. So NVIDIA Control Panel VSync on. And one other setting we can use here as well as this one. If an in-game or config file FPS limiter is available and frame rate exceeds the refresh rate, set 3 FPS limit below displays maximum refresh rate so since not all the game provides you with the in-game fps limiter so we are going to um, use this in nvidia control panel as, as well since nvidia provides us with um, maximum frame rate uh, limiter <coughs> in the nvidia control panel <coughs> so here i have set it to uh, 3 fps below my monitors refresh rate which is 165 fps so that's how we are going to use it so we are done with the nvidia control panel settings set up g-sync and we uh, nvidia control panel v-sync on frame rate limit so th these three things we have to do in the nvidia control panel and uh, the two things we are left with are use full screen mode so I always use uh, the display mode as full screen never use the windowed mode and you might ac accidentally get into windowed mode uh, when sometimes you minimize your game or accidentally press the windowed window key on your keyboard so it's always better to make sure that you are always on your full screen mode and the last setting is disable in-game vsync so i only deviate with this 
mentioned setting and the reason for that is when i was uh, digging through the reddit post about the topic some users had suggested that uh, it is uh, better to use in-game vsync plus nvidia control panel vsync so i tried it and it worked for me and you you can also give it a try uh, you know just experiment and find what's better for you so so use the settings and see for yourself um, you might be able to get a better gameplay all right we'll meet in another video okay